Hello, friendos, and welcome to Wild Things Review of AEW Dynamite. I am Mike, the Wild Thing DeShazo, and this is a review of the 100th episode of AEW Dynamite. 100 episodes, wow, that is, that's quite the achieve, achievement. So we kicked off a show with FTR versus Santana and Ortiz, and this is easily probably going to be the best wrestling match you're going to see on TV this week that's not pay-per-view in my opinion. It was an absolutely great match, and Santana and Ortiz won in the end. It was a good classic tag team match, which I love, I love tag team wrestling. So to see this, get the main stage, it was great. I feel like there's another match in this feud because they're now one and one. So then we w went to the um, CM Punk addresses the fans. A good promo. It's never going to get old to see him coming back out there, but like he did say, it will get old to us, but right now it's not. Um, the promo got cut short by, uh, Daniel Garcia and 2.0, uh, jumping punk and a little delayed reaction of Sting and Darby Allen coming down to the ring ended with, uh, all the baby faces hitting their, um, finishers on the heels. Um, and Sting announced that he will not be ringside at all out. The next match was, uh, Orange Cassidy versus Jack Evans. Kind of souring on this feud. I feel like it should have reached its conclusion four months ago. Hopefully, the pre-match thing, uh, pre-match match, the pre-show match. Oof, that's a tongue twister. That they announced now that the Pac and Andrade match has been uh, postponed due to travel issues, moving the women's match to the main event. Um, hopefully, the uh, match of the baby faces of uh, Best Friends and Jungle Express versus the HFO is a blow off to this. It's over, hopefully. But we shall see. Uh, Orange Cassidy won via the uh, roll up, most devastating finisher in wrestling. Then we had the Jim Ross interview with uh, Chris Jericho. And this is a very good interview. Um, really put over that it seems like uh, Jericho is coming to the end of his road, which I feel like is what will be happening at All Out. I feel like uh, you'll see my uh, preview, my prediction show, okay? Then we went right into the Brian Cage versus Powerhouse Hobbs match. This is two big old beefy men just beating each other up. Um, Hobbs ended up winning in the end with a distraction from Hook and Ricky Starks hitting Cage in the head with the belt. We rolled right into a surprisingly good match with Tay Conti versus Penelope Ford. Um, I felt like these two ladies put on a pretty damn good show. Uh, and ring work was good. And Ty Conti ended up winning in the end over Ford. And then we got the Bunny and uh, Penelope Ford jumping Ty Conti at the end. Which then led to the return of number 99, Anna J, to come in for the save. And Anna J is announced for the Women's Battle Royale at All Out. Then we got the main event of the show, which was the eight man tag match with the uh, Lucha Brothers and uh, Jungle Express versus the, um, the Super Elite. It was a good match. It was a spot fest. I mean, we knew what it was going to be from the jump with the guys who were in here. Um, you got a lot of interesting things match ended and there's still five minutes left and it was, it went ended with the elite winning and there was five minutes left in the mat in the, um, on the show. And we got a good little heel, some heel stuff here from the uh, super elite where you know, they came down and they continued jumping everyone and Christian cage came out to make the save and he was stuck in the ring. And, then, uh, they said that Don Callis and Kenny Omega had stolen the keys to operate the cage that was above the ring, and then they dropped the cage down. And as all the faces were stuck in the, um, as the Lucha Brothers and Christian Cage were stuck in the cage with Lucha, uh, with the Elite, <laughs> all the the good guys, the faces were running out trying to save them, and they couldn't get over the cage. Yeah, it was a good way to end the show. Um, we had a couple other announcements during the show. You got uh, Britt Baker announced the biggest free agent signing in uh, AEW history, which is her re-signing. And she also announced Jamie Hayter and uh, Rebel, not Reba, for the Women's Battle Royale. Um, had a good MJF promo in there as well, where um, he cut to camera one, camera two, camera one, camera three, over and over. 
good stuff. Um, all in all, I give this show. Hmm, let's do the math in the head here. Carry everything over. I give it a four out of five. It's not the strong. It's a very low four out of five. Uh, it could have been like a three nine, three eight. But it was a good show. Much better than last week's show, in my opinion. Um, it was a good go home dynamite for all out on Sunday. Be paying attention for me and Matt's prediction show coming up soon. Um, so with that being said, I am Mike the Wild Thing DeShazo. Keep shotgunning and keep stunting. <laughs>